Welcome back. This is our sixth and final video in this course on ethics, recruitment, and sampling. We'll end off this course by continuing the discussion from the last video and talk about different types of purposive sampling. So let's remind you, purposive sampling is about intentionally selecting patients based on specific characteristics or qualities that align with your research questions. There are several ways to purposively sample, and let's talk about each of these strategies in turn. The first way is maximum variation sampling. This strategy aims to capture a wide range of perspectives by selecting participants with diverse characteristics. It's like painting with all the colors of the palette to get a comprehensive view of the topic. For example, in a study that aims to understand the diverse experiences and perceptions of urban residents regarding green spaces, you might select participants from various age groups, ethnic backgrounds, socioeconomic statuses, and residential areas to capture a wide range of perspectives on how urban green spaces influence mental well-being. The second strategy is homogenous sampling. In this strategy, researchers focus on specific subgroups to gain a deep understanding of the topic. Think of this strategy as studying one shade of color in detail. Here, the focus is on a subgroup. So for example, single mothers living in urban areas. By selecting participants who share these characteristics, you can delve deeper into the unique challenges and experiences of this group, ensuring that the nuances of their experiences are captured in detail. The third strategy is critical case sampling. And this strategy zeroes in on particularly important or unique cases. Think of it as examining a rare gem in a collection of stones. For example, you might focus on a particularly successful startup that revolutionized the market with its innovation. By studying this critical case, you might extract insights and success factors that might be applicable to other startups or innovations. Fourth strategy is expert sampling. And this involves selecting participants based on their expertise or knowledge in a specific area. Think of this as consulting the masters of a specific field. For example, in a study aimed to gather insights about the future trajectories of renewable energy, you might select leading experts in the field of renewable energy, including scientists, policymakers, industry leaders, to provide informed predictions and insights based on their deep knowledge and their deep expertise. The fifth and final strategy is typical case sampling, which focuses on what's considered normal or average for the topic. Think of this as understanding common trends. For example, in a study aimed to understand efficacy of a standard curriculum used in public middle schools. Instead of selecting schools with extreme performances, either very low or very good, you might select schools that perform around the average. This might allow you to understand the typical experiences and outcomes of the majority of the students. And that's all the different types of strategies of propulsive sampling. That's all I have for this video and this course on ethics, recruitment, and sampling. I hope you enjoyed this course. Please feel free to visit all our other courses or our next course on qualitative research. My name is Amir Majid. I'm from The Methodologist. If you found this course helpful, please let us know by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Until next course, take care.